Hello, my name is Alex and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your site multilingual. We're going to go ahead and add a plugin called Polylang. So let's go to the plugins and add new and then in the search box on the right we're going to enter Polylang and when the search results are returned click install then activate. The plugin is installed and here we see the plugin in the listing. So now we're ready to go ahead and configure this plugin. So the first step is to define the languages we would like our website to be presented in. So we'll navigate to the language icon and select languages from this drop down. First we'll pick English and add to the list. And then we'll search for French and add that in the same way. On the table over here on the right, the black star shows which is set as the default language. This message on the top of the screen is warning us that some posts don't have a language allocated. This means there's a risk of the viewer not seeing them if a language is selected. We'll click this link to resolve and allocate them all the default language, in our case English. Let's see how this looks in the post section. There are two new columns, one for each language I selected a moment ago. The tick in the column means that the post is set up as that language and if you click the tick you would go in and edit the post in the normal way. Clicking the plus would create a corresponding post in that language. As an example let's use the hello world post. It's set up as an English post and when we click the plus in the French column a new post is created. We'll add a title and some content. Notice on this side the language is set to French. The translation equivalent post is shown as Hello World, the English one. If you were to click the pencil you could select another post to be paired as the translation for this post. Click Publish and on the post grid we see the Hello World post in English and in French with the corresponding translations shown as linked. The next step is to open the website and have a look. OK, so we see no menu at all and no multi-language options. Let's go to Appearance and then Menus to resolve this. This Language Selector menu option is going to solve the problem on the menu. Select it and add it to the menu. In the options, my preference is to have a drop down with a flag and a language name, but you can experiment and see what works for you. We'll click Save on the menu and see how that looks. Good, the selector appears and we can switch between English and French but nothing happens on the screen when we do. So the next thing we'll need is to set up a French equivalent menu, just like we did a moment ago with the Hello World post. We'll make a new menu and in the Location Manager we'll define it as the one to display when French is selected. and then choose the new menu as the French one. Another check on the website and we're still not getting any closer. The reason here is that the system won't display a blank. The only thing we have provided a translation for so far is the Hello World post and that's not a part of this page or menu structure. The system cannot find any French equivalents to the English content displayed on this page so it cannot display anything. Let's change this home page temporarily to illustrate this. We'll go to Settings, then Reading. Select your latest posts. Now we see the Hello World post on the home page, among several other posts on this site. When we change to French, we're now getting somewhere. The system hides all the English posts and displays the ones that are set up as French. If we switch languages back, the English posts are now displayed again as we'd expect. If we open this post and then switch languages, the system will show the page we indicated was the translation for Hello World. 
This is great if you want your blog posts as your homepage, but most people don't. So let's set this up for pages now as well as posts. On the pages grid, we see the same two columns. Again, a tick indicates the language the page is set up and the plus allows you to create a linked translation page. When a page has an association, you'll see a pencil icon here, like we did on the post grid. When we started, the website was set up to use this home page as the home page. Let's click on the plus to create a French translation equivalent page. Enter the title and some content so we can identify it. Once we've clicked publish, we can return to the reading menu within settings and reselect the page called home as our home page. Returning to the website, we see the home page is restored. But when we change language, we only see this line of text and not the fully featured page that we saw in English. Unfortunately, there is now some real work required. Let's take a look at the setup of this home page. As we see here, it's made up of sections and text blocks and headings and a bunch of other elements and objects. All we entered in the French equivalent page was one sentence. You will need to create the home page and all the other pages in French, ensuring each is linked to an English counterpart just like I've been showing. This plugin can't do the translation for you. What it does is manage the display of the correct language pages, posts and menus at the right time based on the viewer's language selection. Something else it provides is the multi-language translation of some system functions and texts. If we select languages and string translations, you can go ahead and provide the French equivalent for system type strings and elements. I said a moment ago that the plugin cannot do your translation of your site for you, but that's not 100% accurate. They have an integration with Lingotech. You can activate and register this extra feature and have the site processed for machine translation. The free offer is for 100,000 characters, so if you have a smallish site, that could work for you. But there is a caution here. Machine translation must be thoroughly checked. It doesn't understand context and can struggle with words with multiple meanings. That's about it for this demonstration of Polylang and the principles for setting up your website to be multilingual. As a final comment, I will mention WordPress Multilingual, WPML. If you don't mind paying for this plugin, you may find it even more flexible and functional than Polylang or the other free plugins out there. I hope you found this video useful Thanks for watching and do check out our YouTube channel for more.